Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this video, I am going to discuss what do we mean by position telemetering system. You know, position telemetering system is also known as ratio telemetering system. First, let's understand the schematic diagram of position or telemetry system. As you can observe, we have two segments. The first one is called a transmitting terminal and another segment is known as receiving terminal. Our ultimate goal is to transmit the information from the transmitting end to receiving end. You know, the in the transmitting uh, side, we are having sensors and transducers and whatever the information which is capturing by the sensors and transducer, that has to be reached to the receiving terminal. That's our ultimate goal. In the transmitting terminal, we can see uh, there is a potentiometer one. Okay, potentiometer one. And we have the DC power supply. We provide battery. Okay. Uh, now we can see the sliding contact and the resistor, right? Uh, this is directly connected with the burden tube. Uh, it is a burden tube is nothing but it is a pressure measurement device. It's a pressure. It measures the pressure, right? So the burden tube is directly connected to the slider. All right. With respect to the magnitude of pressure, the changes in burden tube takes place that will be directly correlated with the, the movement in the slider. Moreover, uh, at the receiving end side, we can see the potentiometer two. Even potentiometer two is also operating based on the same DC power supply. Same battery will be provided for the supply to the potentiometer two as well. Uh, in the potentiometer two, the slider is connected over there and the output is directly given to a scale, a, a pointer with a scale. This is your scale, right? Can you see the scale? Yeah. We can see the scale, the scale in, in terms of a pressure. We can see it's a, in terms of pressure. It is tuned, it is calibrated in terms of pressure. So they have written like a kilonewton per meter square. Like that, it is calibrated. If you want, you can uh, make out in terms of mega newton per meter square as well. Uh, now, let us see with respect to changes in pressure. So here, with respect to changes in pressure, the burden tube is getting activated. The burden tube is directly correlated with the, the slider. There is a sliding contact. Uh, so with respect to variation in the pressure, definitely burden tube activate. Based on that, the slider is getting varied, getting changed. Similarly, uh, the same information, the same information will be reaching to the receiving and terminal. These are wired only. It's a already wired one. Okay, wired one only. Uh, the same information will be reached at the receiving end side. Here there is a uh, meter, like a calibration meter, like a central zero galvanometer. Okay, it detects the changes in uh, current or voltage, whatever it may be, because potentiometer means that related to the voltage, changes in the voltage. So uh, that is directly correlated with the pointer. So with respect to change in the pressure, definitely what is going to happen, the sliding contact at the transmitting end changes, uh, that will be directly correlated with the slider at the receiving end side. So with respect to the changes in the position of the slider, here you can see the variation in the pointer. Sometimes pointer may goes up, sometimes pointer may goes down like that. So here we have a particular scale where you can see the value of pressure. So uh, suppose the pressure, pressure uh, information, information related to pressure need to be transmitted from the sending inside to receiving inside. So this type of telemetry system will helpful to transmitting the information from sending end to receiving end with the help of two potentiometer. So this type of arrangement is known as position or ratio telemetry system. Okay. As discussed, uh, there is a transmitter side and receiving inside and uh, the information will be uh, passed through in, uh, in the form of the positioning variables with the help of this potentiometer arrangement. So two potentiometers uh, have been arranged at the sending inside and the receiving inside. Also, uh, the two potentiometers operated in a common supply. These are the speciality. So here scale is calibrated in terms of kilonewton per meter square. If you want, you can ca calibrate in any other form because now we are giving an example related to pressure measurement. So it may be some other forms. Uh, basically, it uh, works based on the principle of v stone bridge. You must have studied about the balancing of bridge. So same manner. So uh, if I talk about the advantages of position telemetry system, uh, the major points I need to mention that first one, the intermediate amplifiers are not required. That is the added advantage. 
here I need to mention about there is no need for intermediate amplifier. Uh, the setup will be totally inexpensive. Only potentiometer, uh, then burden tube, um, then common DC power supply. Uh, the, so it is more economic. Then less moving parts. So losses will be very less. All right. Then less maintenance required. If I talk about the setbacks, it is directly influenced by the line resistance. So these are the major setbacks of the position telemetry system. So in this session, what we have done is we have discussed how does the position or ratio telemetry system operate. And uh, we have given one example how the information related to pressure will be transmitting from sending inside to receiving inside. These are the topics we discussed in this session. Let me know if you are having any queries related to the position or ratio telemetry system. I'm very happy to answer. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, have a nice day.